Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading update, Friday, September 25th. Hope everybody had a great week of trading. Unfortunately, ending the week with a red day due to a big mistake that I'll talk about. Uh, to start with, I uh, had a pairs trade in Russell and uh, NASDAQ that was a few hundred dollar loser. I ended up doing a runner in, in NASDAQ that came back and uh, brought some profits of about 400 and some dollars. So uh, that's the M2K MNQ, that's a pairs trade as well as a NASDAQ runner uh, combined. So you can't really break those out uh, at this point. A uh, little runner in the Dow, just uh, took that off pretty quick for a loser. Uh, nice winner in Apple, $247 winner. AMD, nice runner, $287 winner. Amazon, a tiny runner, $280. Beyond a little runner for 165, nice runner in Microsoft 766. Uh, Nike, this is actually not a day trade. This is when I accidentally put in this account, actually holding it until next week. So not part of the day trading. The big mistake, Nikola, minus 1300 bucks. Uh, I'll get to that here in a second. Nvidia, a little winner on the runner for 230. Roku had a loser the first thing in the morning, 871 was my biggest loser besides Nikola. Uh, Tesla minus 540 on a runner and Zoom minus 469 on a runner. All right, so let's break these down. And then I'll also go over kind of the breakdown for the week. All right, so uh, I said Paris trade in NASDAQ Russell, but then I also caught a runner here. Uh, let's see. And it was after it kind of broke the highs of the day, started to consolidate. I caught a nice piece of this in the NASDAQ for a runner. Uh, Apple. Uh, similar time frame, uh, started consolidating above the high of yesterday. And so I caught a little piece of this, uh, AMD, let's go to AMD. AMD was strong, started to consolidate, caught a little piece of that as well. Uh, next one, Amazon, that was a, that was a small Amazon so big. And I just caught a little piece of it is when it started consolidating right at the highs of the day. I caught a little piece of that right there. Uh, beyond, so I actually had a, uh, so in beyond, uh, this thing chopped sideways forever. I finally caught a little piece of that right there going into the end of the day. I, I ended at about 1230 for the most part. Um, Microsoft was my, one of my bigger winners, uh, nice runner here. It, it had that push up consolidating here and I caught a nice piece of that. Well, not that far about right to here. Is where I caught that. So nice runner in Microsoft. And then Nicola. Let's talk about our friend Nicola. Nicola. So it had a big push up. And when we were still in the live stream room, I tried to jump on long here and ended up getting flushed out. So that was part of the loss. But the real big mistake was when price started coming all the way down, it started consolidating down near the lows of the day, uh, actually right here. Uh, I went I, I went ahead and got short. There's a lot of headlines about fraud. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get short here. This thing could, could just collapse. And it started to go down. And here's the mistake I made. I decided, you know what? I'm just going to hold this. And I walked away, went, went to a meeting, was not near my screen. When I came back, this thing just completely ripped my face off. And so that's not what we teach. You know, I mean, we teach to, if you're catching runners, A, you've got to be in front of your screen and B, you're scaling out as it goes down. So, uh, the way that we teach, I would have been scaling down as it came down. Uh, this never would have happened, but it is what I, it is what it is. Like I always say, your P and L is your only truth. So took a, took a big loss there that, that put me negative for the day. Uh, in fact, I'm down 1162.50 on the day, and that was about $1,100 loser. So I would have been closer to break even and big profits on my runners, but instead, big losing red day and and just an overall disaster. So lesson learned: never never leave these trades on when you're going to get away from the screen. No matter what you think, you've got it. You've got to be monitoring these. Uh, Roku was the other kind of sizable loser here. And this was a this was a trade where it started making a big push down and it was still positive on the day and the market was getting stronger, uh, but Roku just continued to get weaker. And so I ended up just having to bail about right here and, and took a loss there. So I still looking back on that one, I don't mind the trades that I made, even though it was a loser, uh, but 
um, a loser's a loser. So, uh, I mean, with the market as strong as it was, this one and, and Roku being a strong stock on the day, I was looking for a, a nice bounce here, just never got it. So, don't regret the way I traded that one, but it did end up being a loser. Uh, and then uh, Tesla and Zoom was another frustrating one. So Zoom, I was actually up pretty big on. Uh, let's, let's zoom back on Zoom. Uh, we had this one on in the live room. Caught a nice little runner to the upside. Let me zoom in here for you a little bit better. Let me zoom in on Zoom. So what happened here in Zoom is we caught, it started to consolidate here. We caught a nice piece of this. We're up big. Then it, it started coming down and the market was staying strong. And so I actually added to this. And finally on the second flush down, I just had to bail. Of course, it ended up picking back up to the upside, but I ended up just cutting my losses and, and taking a loss on Zoom. So that one's a little bit frustrating, but again, not not a terrible trade and I don't regret the way that I traded it. The only regret that I have today was the stupid move I did in Nicola. So that is uh, the recap of today. Let me show you what's going on for the week. Let me bring up my spreadsheet here. So mighty nineties overall down 1500 for the week. So it's been, it's been a rough, uh, last couple of weeks for the mighty 90. I uh, just take a, took a couple of trades today. That Roku one was, was a mighty 90 had a winner in Apple. That was, uh, actually the one that I actually going back to the charts. Uh, that was not a runner in Apple. Sorry. I got that one confused. The, the mighty 90 that I took had this big push up and I caught this move right here to the downside with, with, uh, with a short move. So sorry about that. That was Apple anyway, uh, down 1500 on the week for the mighty 90. Pairs trade, I did that one pairs trade today for minus 325. So overall for the week, just very few, only two pairs trades, one winner, one loser, minus 134.50 for the week. And then on the runners, uh, I was doing really well, you know, 824 this day, 958 this day, 854. We didn't trade on Thursday. Uh, and then minus 213. But like I said, Nicola minus 1300 bucks. So that would have been a positive 1100 nice day on, on the runners. However, it's not, it's negative, but still up over 2,400 bucks for the week on the runners. If we take a look at everything together, uh, you've got the mighty 90 pairs, trades, runners. And so for total P and L for the, uh, for the week of 921, 773. So not, not near as good as the last few weeks, but still positive green for the week. Uh, over the last four weeks, so really for the last month, since we've been tracking them and breaking them down into the different types of strategies, up almost fifteen thousand uh, dollars in the last month. So can't complain. Just a little bit, a uh, little bit down about today and and uh, some of the some of the things that I did and not not following the rules. So part of trading is making sure that you're staying disciplined, following your own rules. I broke that today and it cost me. So is what it is. Uh, still positive. Um, going into next week, just kind of got to reset, rethink about the rules, rethink about the discipline, rethink about mindset, make sure we come back Monday ready to go. So I hope everybody has a great weekend. We'll talk to you next week.